Lindsay Lyon got a clean 20 years uh, since Roman Polanski was accused of, uh, of raping a 13-year-old girl. I think you can say he did it. Um, because, actually, yeah, he struck a deal. Well, the question is, did he strike a deal? Right. Uh, so here's the thing. Roman Polanski, famous director, Rosemary's Baby, lots of movies, but also the husband of uh, Sharon Tate at the time she was murdered by the Manson family. Um, he fled the country in 1977 after he says he struck a deal with prosecutors and the judge in which he would serve around 45 days um, for, Ed, because the number is a little uncertain, he was raping this 13-year-old girl. Um, he served, essentially served that time in Chino Jail in, in California, but then the judge in the case said, I decided now, I want him in prison for up to 50 years. He fled the country and has not come back. Now, his new lawyer will be very famous lawyer, Harlan Brock, is going to court in the and he is going to ask this new judge to unseal the secret testimony of the prosecutor in that case. And he says that that testimony will show that they reached this deal, that the judge in the case agreed that he has served his time, and he wants Roman Polanski to come back here, go before the judge, and the judge make a formal decision. You are no longer a fugitive. You have served your time, so that Roman Polanski can go back to Europe, that Roman Pol Polanski can travel freely, and he can come to Europe now, but that he can travel, travel around right. Europe freely because he's not a fugitive, right. and he can also come back to the United States to do something he wants to do, which is to visit the grave of Sharon Tate, his wife. Huh. Hey, here's my gut on this. I think he's going to win this one. Hmm. I, I think he's public reaction if he does come back. Well, that's, a, that's a whole other thing. All right. What else do you guys want to talk about? Hi, I'm Allie from Massachusetts, and I want to talk about Tiffany Trump. Although I'm sure that was very embarrassing for her, and heiress being embarrassed at a fashion show doesn't compare with all of the people her father has humiliated, including Muslims detained at airports across the country. So at the end of the day, I really don't feel bad for her. I mean, it, that is absolutely a point of view on this thing. Okay, what else? Hey, this is Cedric from Detroit, and I wanted to talk about this and for it. Um, I think Sony is going to show a reminder of support that she is not Indiana Jones in real life. He should not be fighting 20. He should not be doing those things either. 74 year old man that needs to relax and hurt over those keys. Actually, Indiana Jones crashed a lot of planes too, now that I think about it. Yeah, there's going to take a break, but I gotta tell you something. I shouldn't even admit this because I have a feeling I'm gonna get committed, but go back to them, Reagan. Um, for a split second, I thought you had the Parthenon behind you. And it's a hutch.